Hi, I'm Barry Foster here and welcome back to the Northern Irish Job. This is episode number 37 with uh, Bally Mina United. And today we've got another big game in the uh, the championship. We're home to Ards. But before we get to that match, this is what's been happening since our last video. A little bit up and down. Um, we had to play, after our last video, Carrick Rangers in the County Antrim Shield first round. And after um, going behind in the sixth minute, we came storming back to beat them six goals to one with Gallagher, Tully scoring a brace, Kearney and Zamini's also scoring a brace. Zamini's coming off the bench very late in the game and he scored in the 93rd and 95th minute. So that was a, a great 6-1 victory. And of course, Carrick Rangers, they are a, a premiership side. Admittedly, they were the anchor boys at the, uh, the time we played them, but still it was a really good uh, result against a, a team in a higher league. We then came uh, back to the championship and we went away to um, Anar United and that finished three goals apiece. Uh, Tully, Zeminis and Letty scoring the goals. We were leading 3-0 at half time and I have spoken about uh, complacency at uh, Ballymena in the, in the past and uh, we, we became completely complacent in the second half. They came back with uh, two goals and then they scored a third goal in the 97th minute to share all points. So that was a pretty frustrating uh, day and to cap it off, Shea Kearney who was on loan from Cliftonville he was looking like a really good player for us. I was really impressed with him and he suffered a very uh, bad knee injury. Probably going to be out of uh, football for some four to five months, so I had to send him back to his um, parent club. Also in that game, after scoring his goal, Joe Tully also suffered a knee injury, but luckily uh, he was only going to be out for some three to four weeks. So it wasn't a very good day at the office at all. We then came home to play uh, Berlin and Millard. We beat them three goals to two with Clark, Livingston and Gallagher scoring the goals. Once again, that game could have gone either way. Uh, we probably should have won by a bigger margin, but we seem to sometimes struggle when we're playing in the league. Um, Ross Clark also suffered an injury that day. I think he suffered a calf injury, but I'll tell you something about this guy. His free kick taking attributes only six, but boy oh boy can he rifle a free kick in. I think it should be around about 15. He's already scored three goals for us and he's a, he's a pretty good loan signing. I've been very impressed. With, uh, with Ross Clark. We then played uh, Dundella in the, uh, the league at home and another three-all draw, Letty, Hall and Donnelly scoring the goals. And this was another game, it could have gone either way. We, 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 I think we, on paper we should have blasted Dundella off the park, but uh, that didn't happen and we had to share the points. We then went away to Institute, um, a nil all draw, least said um, anything about that game, the better, because it was a pretty, pretty drab game of football. And then we had another uh, cup game. This is the League Cup third round. We were away to Glen Torren, who are a premiership side. And once again, we played fantastically. We beat them three goals to two with Rocks, Gallagher and Letty scoring the goals. Come the 76th minute, we were leading 3-0. They came back with two late goals to make it a bit of a nervy ending. But once again, when it comes to cup games and premiership sides, we seem to do so well. But when it comes to the championship, we do seem to struggle. And when we look at the uh, the championship uh, table, we have Newry City sitting on top on 21 points, Bally Mina on 19 Anar and Amar both on 18 and the Ards are in 5th position on 16 points. Belinda Malada are the anchor boys at the moment with only 5 points. I did offer a contract to a Leroy Miller. Now this guy I think is probably pretty good. He was to replace uh, Kearney, but I'm, but I'm going to um, cancel this because if this goes through, it's going to blow our wages budget right out of the water. And I know the, uh, the board will not like that, so I'm going to uh, pull the pen on that, unfortunately. And when we look at club vision, look, things are going okay at the moment. The board seem to be pretty happy, and so are the supporters. So I guess that's the, uh, the main thing. Finances are not looking too good, but we can't do much about the financial uh, position. All I can do is keep under the uh, the wages budget. 
So in a nutshell, that's what's uh, been happening with uh, Ballymena United. Without further chit-chat, let's go and play arms and keep our fingers crossed that we can pick up a further three points. And here's the starting 11 for today's match. Uh, Williamson between the sticks, Ball, Hall, Brown and Dobbin on, on the back line. Casey and Smith in midfield with Gallagher, Livingston on the flanks. Zaminis and Letty will uh, lead the attacking line. On the bench we'll have Declan Dunn, Reese Glendinning, Daniel Devlin, Rox, Donnelly, Ross Clark and Joe Tully. He'll be good for at least 75 minutes, Joe Tully, so he'll probably see some uh, game time in the second half, let's go and chat to the boys. Okay, no pressure on the boys. Just go out and play your own game and uh, keep our fingers crossed. We can get the three points. And it's Ballymena getting the game underway. Very wide uh, pitch here at the showgrounds. Anyway, this is Smith. Oh, nice ball through to Letty already. Oh, he finds the back of the net. Is he onside? I think he is. So in the uh, the 20th minute, Smith and Letty combine to uh, score the opening goal. Letty, he certainly is the money man this season for us. Lovely ball by Smith and Letty. Bit of an angle, but he beats the keeper beautifully. Now this is uh, King for Ards. We're in the 20th minute. Still 1-0 to Ballymena. Decent looking cross and that's been well headed I think by Hall. Now Zemini's looking for his partner in Letty. He'll get onto it. Another great chance and another great goal by Michael Letty. His 10th goal of the season. As I said, this guy's on fire this season. He really is. He's the money man up front for us. I mean, in the final eight games of last season, it was Joe Tully. But Letty is playing brilliantly this season. And once again, beats the keeper with a very similar shot. Now, Purvis taking a goal kick. We're in the 40th minute. This is uh, Wilson for Ards. Haven't seen much of Ards in the attack, although they've had, I think... Uh, over 50% possession. But uh, it's uh, Ballymena who have uh, done the damage. Oh, Smith, yeah, good tackle. Now Dobbin. Now Livingston looks for Letty, who's all on his own. He can turn and run. He's got, oh, he showed way too much of the ball. So uh, it's Ards. To maybe and mount another attack, but no ball, good interception. Now Zamini's all turned very well. Can he find a partner here? He's going to go himself. Oh, now he looks for Letty. And that's his 11th goal of the season, and that's his hat trick. So what an opening 45 minutes for uh, Ballymena and Michael Letty. I've seen this before, <laughs> and the second half can be very different. But Zamini's turned beautifully there. Great run and found his partner in crime and a nice finish by Letty. Now Purvis, we're in the 44th minute. A fourth goal just before the break would be uh, very nice. But it's King now for Ards, mounting a bit of a rare attack. Don't want to see them maybe pull one back just before the break. Don't know where our right fullback was, but that's been blocked, but they'll get a corner. Sometimes our fullbacks seem to go a little bit missing in the game. Two minutes of added time. This is uh, Murray who will take the corner for Ards, and he fires it in deep. That's been once again well headed by Dobbin. Livingston with a free kick, going far post. He was looking for ball, I think. Now Zamini's can put it back in. Smith had his shot blocked, tries again. Oh boy, that was a tight angle. Now Livingston sends it back in. And that's been put out, I think, for a corner. So some very late pressure here from Ballymena. But that's it. 
It wouldn't let us take the, uh, the corner. It's a bit mean. Anyway, it's 3-0 at half-time, thanks to Michael Leddy. And if you have a look at the, uh, the uh, possession percentage, Arts have had 59% possession, and we've only had 41. And it's 3-0 in favour of Ballymena. Anyway, let's go and chat to the boys. Well, you've got to be happy after that opening 45 minutes, and I think the team are doing brilliantly, so keep it up. Another 45 minutes like that would be um, brilliant. But anyway, it's Ards getting the, uh, the second half underway. Hopefully, complacency won't set in, as it's done more than once before. Now across here, looking for King. I thought the uh, keeper could have maybe come for that. But anyway, Ards with some dangerous possession here, and they pull one back straight away in the 46th minute. Well, I hope this is not going to be deja vu with uh, Ballymena in the second half. I mean, Ryan gets a ton of space in our box. Well, I think Williamson could have done better. Now, Purvis with a goal kick for Ards. 58th minute, now Zamini's. I'd like to see an attack by the boys in blue. This is Smith. Oh, I think he was trying to find Livingston there, but I think they got in each other's road. So it's uh, Ards who can take it out of possession. Out of possession, <laughs> out of defence. Anyway, this is Walters for Ards. Come on, let's get some tackles in there, close them down. Now this is Wilson. They've already pulled one back, which worries me. They're playing a very patient possession game. Just don't want them to uh, do this too often. Now this is Murray. Oh, this is, well, they're mucking around with it and it's hit the crossbar. <laughs> well. I tell you what, we better wake up. Now, another highlight. Tully and uh, Ross Clark have both come off the bench. This is Tully. Come on, let's keep possession. Now, Clark, Smith, Casey. This is Zamini. He can, oh, lovely. I think, oh, I think he was offside. Yes. Wouldn't have counted. Now, Purvis with another goal kick. We've uh, brought Glendinning and Rocks off the bench as well. So we've made four substitutions. It's still three goals to one, 78th minute. I certainly don't want to see a second goal from Ards because I know that's going to be a bit of a nervy ending. And I must admit, it's been a bit of a disappointing second half so far, but that's a good tackle by Rocks. Now Smith puts it over the top for Zamini, who's carrying an injury, and he finishes it beautifully. Four goals to one. I don't know when he got uh, that knock. But it certainly didn't stop him from scoring, but um, lovely ball by Smith over the top. He beats the offside track Zamini's, and he finds the back of the net beautifully. Okay, we're from the last uh, minute of the match. Nice deep cross, but uh, the keeper took it well. We've um, brought on Donnelly for Zamini's because Zamini's does have a, a knee injury, unfortunately. Maybe not too serious. But uh, Glenn Dinning will mop up that attack. Pumps it long, looking for Clark. And that's it. So Ballymena United have uh, defeated Ards four goals to one with uh, Michael Leddy scoring a hat-trick in the first half and Zamini's getting the fourth in the 79th minute. I think a pretty good day at the office, but quite interesting. Uh, we only had 44% possession, but we had 17 shots to five. So a pretty good uh, match by uh, Ballymena United. Let's go and chat to the boys. Well, you've got to be happy here with uh, a performance like that. So I'll go with the, uh, the assistance recommendation. 
Let's see what happened with the, uh, the rest of the league. I've got a feeling Newry City were having a good day as well. Well, as you can see, Newry City did have a good day. They beat Warren Point uh, two goals to nil, so they're top of the tree still with 24 points. Ballymen United in second spot on 22 with uh, Anar United a point behind. And looking at the results, uh, Anar United got the points against Dundella. Belinda Millard had a victory over Amar. Uh, Dergview got uh, a good win against Distillery and Institute also recorded a victory against Bangor. So we've got uh, currently Bangor and Belinda Millard sitting on eight points and Warren Point just a point above them. Let's go and see who we're going to play next. Well, another forward with uh, a knee injury, Kenny Zamini's pulled knee ligaments out for maybe three weeks, injured after sprinting. So that's a bit of a blow because he had a really good match um, against Ards. So, uh, oh, well, I guess it will give another uh, forward the opportunity to shine in the, uh, the first team. Um, our next match is going to be the County Antrim Shield quarterfinal away to Glen Torren. But looking at the schedule, I think what we'll do is probably play another half a dozen games off, uh, off our camera. We do have two cup games in a row. We've got the Intermediate Cup first round match against Dundonald. They are an amateur side. Then we've got to play Warren Point in the, uh, the League Cup quarterfinal. As I said before, if we do get to a cup semi-final, I'll show you the semi-final because uh, that means we've got a chance of maybe playing in a cup final. But we'll probably come back somewhere in, uh, I guess, November when uh, we get back into uh, the championship. Probably one of those games there. Maybe maybe the Newry City game could be a pretty good one to come back for because that will be a home game for Ballymena United. So that's the, the video for today. I hope you have enjoyed it. At least I've been able to give you finally a victory, a home victory as well against our four, Ards. Four goals to one. It was a very good day at the office. If you have enjoyed the video, it'd be great to uh, give us a thumbs up. If you wish to leave a comment, please do. But until next time, I'm Barry Foster saying it's goodbye from me.